Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently today. It's not all going to be negative reviews. It's just going to be top 10 reviews that I found that I thought were either interesting, funny, or something to talk about. So let's get stuck into it. So today's game is Content Warning, which has just come out on the 1st of April. Now they actually released it for free as a as an April Fool's thing, because why not? And uh, it looks pretty fun. It's another classic lobby based co-op game where you just run around and be silly with your friends so yeah it seems like a pretty fun game so let's see what people have to say about it all right so up first we have a classic they say if you want to pretend to be logan paul in a certain japanese forest this is the game for you <laughs> if you don't know about that you need to go look it up because that that was a whole uh, disaster. <laughs> That's some precious internet history right there. So you might want to check that one out. Logan Paul in the Japanese forest. What a time. What if we became YouTubers? Four found dead in sewers. More news at six. Now, over to Larry with the weather. I could not read this one in a news reporter voice. It just seems like the headline to a bad article. <laughs> All right, this one seems like there might be an admission of guilt happening here. Funny game. I hope voice logs are not saved. If so, I will serve 20 lifetime sentences. <laughs> hmm. A little bit suspicious on this one. Hmm. All right, so we've got one here that's actually informative. They say, Two things you must know before considering this game. Number one. No mouse y-axis invert option, which is ridiculous for any first-person perspective game in 2004, let alone 2024. I'm not relearning decades-long immersive pilot-style mouse controls just for this game. This is fixable in future updates if the devs get smart about development. It's literally a byte swap option. Come on devs, you can do it. I'm jeering for you. Woo! -hoo! Number two. Voice chat is mandatory, so it's an introvert's nightmare. I play computer games precisely because I'd rather be doing that than talking to people. So a game that forces conversation with other players out of me is an instant uninstall. Can you talk? Yes, but I won't. Bye bye. I guess the devs will probably never fix this as it's the, as the entire concept of the game. <laughs> Hang on, let me start again. I guess the devs would probably never fix this, as the entire concept of the game relies on talking. But it's a total deal breaker for me. If you don't mind both of the above, this game seems like it might potentially be fun. But I didn't get to find out because one, made me not able to play, and two, made me not want to. <laughs> hey, hey guys, you, you, you've made a game where you're supposed to talk to each other, are you planning on patching that anytime soon? I don't want to talk to them. <laughs> like, what the? <laughs> what? Why would a person even consider this one at all? <laughs> Why would a person who doesn't want to talk to anyone even consider this? The mouse invert thing, like when you move your mouse up and it looks down like in a plane. I got stuck with that for a long time. When I was a kid, I used to use invert and I would, I would push up on the Nintendo 64 joystick and the guy would look down when I was playing Goldeneye. And then I got used to that, it was fine. And then I stopped playing consoles and I started playing computer. And then when I went back to consoles, I couldn't do inverted because it felt weird, but I also couldn't do not inverted because it went against my natural programming. So I just didn't really go back to console for quite a while. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't work out what controller I needed or controller scheme, so hmm. Bit of a rough one, but yeah, oh, I just loved this one. Being an introvert, <laughs> but playing this game. <laughs> All right, we've got a cranky pants here. They say, L-I-D-L Phasmo, lethal company type game. This trend of cheap content creator bait needs to stop. This trash has probably been in development for four months to capitalize on the brainless hype that similar games generated. Be ready for cheap mass produced garbage like this one. This is so lazily done that you'd be tricked into thinking that the black and white levels were meant to inspire horror or dread, but it's just a cut down on development time. Th this person's taking the game too seriously. It's just a game where you're supposed to go in and screw around with your friends and be idiots for a couple of hours. 
and then like log off <laughs> and then come back in like two weeks and do it again i don't i don't think it's that deep you know it's just supposed to be a fun game i don't know what lidl stands for uh, if anybody knows that it'd be it'd be great if you could tell me in the comments but yeah i don't know there's nothing wrong with these games they're fine there's so many fun lobby based games like this where you just get a couple of hours of good fun playtime out of it once a month with your mates and then you move on uh, i don't know what they're talking about but they're cranky all right here's a pro tip instead of helping your friends tape their deaths for maximum ad revenue become the soulless youtube influencer you always wanted to be <laughs> yeah why not why not? You gotta get that bag, you know what I mean? Sigma grind set. <laughs> Warning, nerd rage detected. Wow, where do I start? I wanted to play this game with my friends, but for some reason it wouldn't let me. I am more than mad. All I did was follow the instructions and do what it said and nothing worked. I wish I could give this a lower rating. You lost a good customer. <laughs> Product received for free. Really, bro? Really? How are you going to get so mad over something you got for free? What the hell? What is wrong with these people? If you get something for free, are you even really a customer? Might have to find out. This game is so fun with friends. But I don't have any friends. <laughs> what, what a rough time. Oh shit, man. Alright, I got a classic copy pasta, but it's too funny to ignore. Before I played content warning, I had a small pain, no friends, no girlfriend, depression, and absolutely no will to live. None of these things have changed, but the game is pretty good. 36 hours on record. Yeah, they're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, they're enjoying it. My friend was stuck in a web screaming for help, and I did nothing but record. 10 out of 10 game. So immersive. How do you think all those TikTok videos happen? Disasters occurring right in front of people. The first instinct is to pull out the phone. <laughs> We're doomed as a species. All right, so there you have it. That's my 10 favorite content warning reviews for the week. I think this is probably a bit of a fun way to do the review thing instead of just focusing on the negative ones because some of the positive ones are funny as well and they are kind of they're like negative reviews, but they put positive and they say something funny. So <laughs> it's still good. So yeah, I think I'll probably do this one again as well. This kind of video. I was thinking about doing like a top 10 of all time, but I don't know if I want to be the judge of, of what the 10 best ones are. I just pick 10 that are funny to me. So if you like it, subscribe. Uh, if you enjoy the video, like it. And yeah i do this on my on my stream sometime too so just come by and watch the stream if you like uh yeah all right i'll see you guys next time bye bye